Hey guys, this is Koala with my friends Ronnie and Bouncer. Hi, my name is Bouncer. And my other friend here is Ronnie. Hi, I'm Ronnie. And welcome back to the channel of Andreas Carter's Fun Time. Today we're going to have a little bit of review on this toy called Lake Shore the Alphabet Zoo. See, here's what it looks like. It's like, we'll like flip this side so you can give you like a little preview of it. And see, look what there is. See, it includes 26 different animals to play with. I'll zoom in to show you each of them. Okay, so, while we show each of them, how about we sing the ABC song? Yeah, sure, definitely. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now we know our ABC. Next time, won't you sing with me? All right, that is actually pretty good. Let's check out the back of the box, too. I'm sure people would be really interested if we checked it out. Okay, so here's what the back, back of the box looks like. Come on, Ronnie, Bouncer, you better read this. Okay. Okay, let's read it. It says, help the animals get back to the zoo. Kids match adorable animals to corresponding letters in the zoo, building alphabet skills and vocabulary each step of the way. Includes one animal for every letter of the alphabet. That's actually pretty cool. So these are the animals we have to help get back to the alphabet zoo. <coughs> We have alligator, bear, camel, dog, elephant, fish, goat, hippopotamus, iguana, jellyfish, kangaroo, lion, monkey, newt, ostrich, penguin, quail, rabbit, seal, tiger, yo-yo, vulture, walrus, ox, yak, and zebra. Don't worry about X. Because there aren't many animals that begin with X, so instead they made an animal that ends with an X. So now let's open the box and really get into the alphabet zoo. So this is what it looks like inside. So like when you close it, it shows the fact page on there, see? There's like the letters there with different colors and then like, there's like for the uh, fact page. See, there's some facts about animals. We'll read that at the end though. So then, these are all the animals. Now let's open up to see their, to see where they go. Okay, this is what it looks like. Okay, now let's go see the animals. Okay, the first letter is A. Hmm, let's see. Okay. Here we go. A is for alligator. Look at it. Look at the alligator, it's so green. It has some green scales and it has a long tail. The tail is twice like, it's kind of like half the size of its body length. Some large, there's some like wet feet. Oh, hold on, look, 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 look. Um, so scaly, a yellow underbelly too. Hmm. Okay, and then this is where the alligator goes and this, Probably this here, like, river. Mm. You know, but, like, inside, like, it's home. There's, like, some water. There's, and there's some, and there's a little bit of some grass and some land, too. And then there's all, and there's um, also some weeds. 
See, that's actually pretty good. Okay, next letter is B. Where is our B animal now? Hmm. Let's find it. Okay, here it is. B is for bear. Look, it's so big and brown. It has a large body. And it has large, large ears. And look at its big red eyes. And let's find where the bear goes. Hmm. It goes right here. Okay, so here, there's like a little tree, some rocks around it. Probably like a cave, and probably it's like a cave, and then there's like some dirt in there. Like, I don't know, I think it's probably like a cave. Mm -hmm, I think I agree. Well, we don't know, but it did. But those rocks kind of have to do with probably like some sort of cave. Okay. Next, letter C. C is for camel. Look at its big humps. It's like it has like dark brown humps. A little bit of some orange and yellow on it, and it has four legs and a and a short tail. These these can help it walk without sinking in the desert. Oh, we just at the top of that desert. I know where it goes. Right there. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit of grass, and there's also like a little like plant right there. Okay. Now we have the letter D. Let's see what animal we've got. Okay. D is for dog. Aw, oh, look at it. It's so cute. And it sure is. It looks brown. And look at it. It kind of has, it has some, like, whiskers on it, too. And it has, and it has a short tail, too. Hmm, let's see where the dog goes. I know. Right there. Oh. Yeah, let's go, dog. Okay, we're pretty good. We've got the top row covered. Okay, let's explore what the dog has in it. It kind of has some, like, bushy grasses, some rocks, a palm tree. But let's actually look what actually it has. There's some grass. Oh, look, there's even a bowl of water it can drink. Let's see, so it has a ball to play with, a little house to sleep in, a bone to eat, and a bowl of water to drink. Hey, dog, fetch! Ha! Okay. Okay. Okay, and here's where I can sleep. That is actually really good. Okay, now we have letter E. Okay, E is for elephant. It looks like a bluish, kind of like a bluish, like, kind of like a bluish color, white underbelly. Actually has big ears, short tails, a long trunk, and two big tusks. That's actually really good. Hmm, where does the elephant go? Ooh, right there. I found it. Okay, pretty good, Ronnie. Okay. It's so not really much, just kind of like a little log and some rocks in there. Okay, so that's actually good for the elephant. Okay. Letter F. Hmm. Okay. We've got it. F is for fish. Not really much on the fish. It's going swimming, 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 swimming. See, it has some flipper. So it has tail fin, pectoral fin, a dorsal fin, and then the eyes. So it's like an orange color with yellow spots on it. Hmm. Look, I see with the letter, the water with the letter F. Yeah. Hop in, fish. <laughs> nice landing. Ha <laughs> ha. That was actually pretty funny. Okay, next letter, G. G is for goat. 
it's kind of the same color as the dog, see? Like, like brown, except it, look at it, it has some hard hooves, a white tail, it kind of has like a white beard, and it has, and it has some white horns and two small ears. Hmm. Let's see where the goat goes. Where does the goat go? Ha <laughs> ha! On the rocks with the letter G. Ha! Ah. Okay, that's actually good. I think because of the rocks, I think this goat is actually a mountain goat. It kind of looks domestic, but this goat kind of looks like a mountain goat. Well, not really a mountain goat because mountain goats are actually white. Oh, but like, we think that. We don't know. It's our opinion if it's domestic or mountain. Okay. Next up is letter H. Let's see what we got. Okay. H is for hippopotamus. Look, it's so big. We don't know if it's gray, but it kind of looks like a little bit of a grayish black. It has a small tail, stub toes, a small ears and nostrils and the mouth. Well, this hippo doesn't have its mouth open, but like, as if it were, you would see its teeth. Okay, so let's see where the hippopotamus goes. Right there, what do you eat? Yes. One fact about hippos is it has water because hippos need water to keep cool. Because, yeah, I agree. Hippos need water so they can avoid the heat of the African sun. If they're out in the heat for too long, their skin dries. So that means when if that means since hippos lie in the water all day, they eat on land at night. It was good. It was good to see a hippo. Okay. Now we have the letter I. Let's see what we have for I. Okay. We have I is for iguana. It has some scales too, and it's also green, except it just has a red tail and some red on its hind feet, and then the and then it has, and then it also has red on this part, and then like a, it has like act, it actually has red on the toes, and then but it's pretty much greenish yellow on like yellow on the underside and like kind of like green like close to the eyes, and then the eye is on that rock. Okay, right there, by, by the hippo, except not in it. Okay. Next up is letter J. Let's see what we've got. Okay, J is for jellyfish. It actually does not have any body parts, just, just some legs. And I don't know what that is, but it is white with some black stripes and the yellowish orange. Let's put the jellyfish in the ocean. It actually can't stand like the other animals. <laughs> That's so silly. Okay. Now we have the letter K. Let's see what we have. K is for kangaroo. Wow. They're from Australia. Look at this kangaroo. It has big ears, a long tail, small arms, and hind legs to jump. You think kangaroos walk, but they hop. Look, kangaroos can hop really high. Do you know what's special about female kangaroos? I know what's special about them. They have a pouch. What is a pouch, koala? A pouch is a, a pouch is a type of special pocket that is put on the on marsupials to keep their babies safe. A kangaroo is a type of marsupial. And there it is. So, by the way, there are some grasses and the little rock and some rocks right there. Kind of like the jellyfish. Not much with the jellyfish, but some bubbles. Okay. Now we have the letter L. Okay. L is for lion. It's kind of like a golden color, kind of. A white underbelly. And it has a tail. And look, it has a mane too, and kind of like a white face. Something special about the lion is that it has, is that the males have a long furry mane, but females lack the mane. Hey, wait a minute, look! Bouncer, are you a lion too? Yes, I am a lion. All right, Bouncer, hey look, Ronnie! 
Bouncer is a lion too. Ha. Hi. What's your Hi, I'm Leo. What's your name? My name is Bouncer. It's nice to <laughs> Nice to meet you too, lion. Okay. Here's the lion's habitat. Just some dirt and some rocks and some leaves too. And by and the waterfall by the hippo's home. Okay. Now for the letter M. Find out. Yes. Okay, we got it. M is for monkey. It had it's kind of like an orange color. Long tail. And it, look, its arms are longer than its leg because it's a primate, kind of like a gorilla. And look, we know where the monkey goes. Here, with some flowers. And look, there's even a tree where it can swing in. Okay, next up is the letter N. Let's see what we have. N is for Newt. Look, it's all black. A short tail, some feet, and it has yellow eyes and spots on it. Some are spots, and it has these, like, different patterns. Hmm, let's see where the newts go. Hmm, I know. It goes right here on the rock. So it kind of has some water by it, too, when it needs to cool down. Okay. O is for ostrich. Let's see what we have. Okay. Here. Oh, I actually said it. O is for ostrich. Okay. Here we are. It has kind of like a black body, some white on it, and then orange, and some orange on the neck to the head. And it actually has a long neck, too. And it went, let's see where it goes. I know, right there. Okay. So there's not much except just like some little sands. And then there's some eggs, too. Okay. Now we have the letter P. Let's see what animal we've got. I'm so excited. Okay. P is for penguin. It has all these mixed up colors of black, white, and like a yellow belly too. Some yellow feet too. Hmm. And let's see where the penguin goes. I know, right there. Yes. Penguins love swimming, don't they? And they, and they like to live in the cold too. Hmm. That's actually pretty good for icebergs there in the water too. Next letter is the letter Q. Let's see what we have in Q. Q is for quail. It actually has some black and gray, some white spots, and a brown belly. And it even has a feather on it, too. So let's see where the quail goes. The quail goes right here. Okay, so the quail kind of has some flowers around it, some bushy land. Okay, let's see what the next letter is. It's R. Let's see what our animal is. Okay. R is for rabbit. Ooh, look. Look at the rabbit. It's, it looks actually all white. Some, it actually has some hind... It actually has hind legs, front legs, short tail, and long ears. And it has blue eyes, too, and a long nose. And a nose, too. We know where the rabbit goes. There! Yes, koala! Okay, let's see what the rabbit has. Oh, look! The rabbit has some bushes around it, like a little yard. And look, it even has a carrot. Rabbits love to eat carrots. I agree. The carrot can be used for whenever the rabbit is hungry. Okay, now we have the letter S. Let's see what we have. S is for seal. It actually has some black and white. It's actually a white seal with black spots. And it actually has some gray on the nose and the tail and the feet. Look at it. The seal rolls into its habitat in the water to bask. Okay, now we have the letter T. Let's see what we have. Ooh, oh wow, T is for tiger. Look, it's actually an orange tiger with black with black stripes. I was about to say spots. And look, it has a white under, has white on the legs and a little bit around its neck. And it even has a long tail too. 
Here's letter T. T is for tiger. Some rocks are on it, some grass, and some flowers. Okay, now we have the letter U. Okay, we're all covered to our last row of the animals. Ooh, U is for yo-yo. Ooh, look, it's, the yo-yo is actually a type of wild sheep that, found, that lives in Asia. So let's see what it has. It has ears, some, some small curved horns, and long legs. Here's what we know where the yo-yo goes, on those rocks, like the goat. See? The, the yo-yo and the goat's habitat actually match. Yeah, that's actually funny. Except the difference is the goat is next to the hippo and the fish. Well, the yo-yo is next to the tiger. And then our next letter, V, and V is for vulture. Okay, so it has an orange head. And legs and it has some white on the feathers too. It's actually flying. And here it is, just on a little tree branch, some rocks and a bone, and some grass too. Because vultures are actually scavengers, which means that they eat animals that are decomposing or already dead. Okay. Now we have W. Let's see what we have. Okay. W is for walrus. Okay. Look at its tusks. It has some whiskey tusks, an eye, oh, and it actually has a long body and flippers. Let's see what we have here. Okay, well, this goes here. There's a little bit of some water coming and some icebergs because walruses live in the Arctic. That's cold. <sighs> okay, now we have X, and it's the animal we were talking about on the back. X is for ox. Well, we told you that ox actually ends with an X. Yeah, because there weren't many animals that begin with X. Like we told you, like, on the uh, back of the box where it said help the animals get back to the zoo. So here's what the ox has. It has a long body, some long legs, a sh kind of like a long tail, ears, and some small horns. Okay, and here's where the ox goes. Right over there. Some flowers, trees, and some bushes. Okay. The next letter is Y. Let's see what animal we have here. Okay. Y is for yak. Ooh, it actually is mixed with some golden, black, and brown. And it has some long horns, ears, and a long tail. And here is where the yak goes. Right here. So there's some dirt in the axe home, and there's a little bit of snow, too. Okay, the last letter is Z. Let's see what the final animal is. Z is for zebra. The zebra looks a lot like a horse, but except it has black and white stripes. It has a long tail, hooves, and a black mane. And we know where the zebra goes, right here. Because it's the only remaining spot for hours. Okay, so it has a tree and some places. And then there's the path where you can see all types of animals in the zoo. This was actually pretty fun. And then if you want to see the shadows, look inside here. See? This is what it looks like. Okay, got it. Now, let's read a fact about the animal. Catch you later, animals. Okay, but before we read the facts, we have to put them all away. Say the animal's with us, everyone. Okay, here we go. Alligator. Bear. Camel. Dog. Fish Goat Hippopotamus Iguana Jellyfish Hold on, where is it? There it is Kangaroo
Once you know, okay, there you are. Don't be so stubborn. Lion! Monkey! Newt! Ostrich! There we go. Penguin! Quail! Rabbit! Seal! Tiger! Yo yo! Vulture! Okay. Walrus! Ox? Yes? A zebra! Okay, now we can flip it. And it has a fact about each animal. How about we read it? A. Alligator. In the wild, alligators live to about 50 years old. That sure is a long time. B. Bear. Bears will eat just about anything. Most bears love ants and honey. That's actually cool. C. Camel. Camels have wide feet that let them walk on sand without sinking. We didn't know that. D. Dog. Dogs can hear sounds that are too high for human ears. Whoa, that sure is our dog. E. Elephant. Elephants are the largest living land animals. They can weigh as much as a school bus. F. Fish. You can tell how old a fish is by studying its scales. Ha, that's actually funny. G. Goat. Many people think goats eat trash, but they only eat plants. Most goats graze on grass. H. Hippopotamus. The name hippopotamus means river horse. And for short, it's hippo. I. Iguana. An iguana can grow to be six and a half feet long. That sure is long. J. Jellyfish. Jellyfish may be many shapes and colors. Some even glow in the dark. Wow, that would help us if we were scuba diving in the dark area. But we have to be careful. Jellyfish sting us. And a box jellyfish is one of the most venomous. Come on, it can kill us. K. Kangaroo. Some kangaroos can cover 25 feet in a single leap. Whoa, that is high. L. Lion. Lions are the only cats that live in groups called prides. Since I'm a lion, I live in a pride, but sometimes I live on my own too. M. Monkey. Some, but not all, monkeys can use their tail to grasp branches. We don't know which monkeys can and which monkeys can. N. Newt. Newts may look like lizards, but they're actually related to frogs. Frogs are an amphibian, so newts are too. O. Ostrich. An ostrich can't fly, but it can run at speeds of up to 45 miles per hour. That's actually fast, and by the way, they're also the largest birds. P. Penguin. A group of penguins may stay at sea for weeks at a time. That's actually a long time. Q. Quail. Quail are adapted to life on land. They cannot make long flights. They do fly, but only for short distances. O. Rabbit. A rabbit can see in every direction at the same time. Whoa, it's <laughs> actually so funny. Humans can only see in one direction at a time. S, seal. Seals can only move on land by wriggling like a caterpillar. They have to go like this. <laughs> Whoa, cool, you're doing it. Well, they can swim fast when they're in the water. And by the way, they also need to go in the water whenever they want food. T. Tiger. A tiger's stripes make it almost invisible as it hunts in tall, dry grass. That's actually pretty good camouflage. U. Uriel. A Uriel is a wild sheep that lives in southern Asia. That's what we were talking about when we were exploring it. V. Vulture. Vultures are meat eaters, but they rarely hunt their own food. Because they're meat eaters, when they really hunt their own food, that means they're scavengers. And like we said, vultures eat animals that are decomposing or already dead. W. Walrus. Both male and female walruses have a mustache of stiff whiskers. That's actually pretty good. Well, they both have tusks, but the male's tusks are longer, though. X. Ox. Oxen are used to plow fields, pull wagons, and do other hard work. Whew, that sure is hard. Why? Yak. A yak's large hooves 
help it walk in snow and dig for food. And lastly, Z, zebra. Different species of or types of zebras have different patterns of stripes. That was actually a lot of fun, but now it's time to close up on our zoo. Okay, YouTube channelers, I hope you guys had a lot of fun um, learning about the Alphabet Zoo. Yeah, I agree. Don't forget, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, this actually was fun. You can leave us a comment of how you liked the review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. 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 See you in the next video.